My name is Adam Boyd, and I am the Enga Bible Translation Advisor. Enga is unlike most language groups in Papua New Guinea because it's such a big population, 370,000. And to drive from east to west in Enga takes four hours, to drive from north to south takes even longer. And so we haven't done just one dedication, we've done multiple dedications throughout the province, and our work's not done, we still have many more places to go to. Because Enga is such a large group, at least comparatively for Papua New Guinea, we've been able to take advantage of different promotional strategies that a lot of languages can't do. One of the main things that we've done is run paid Facebook advertisements. Through those advertisements, we've been able to reach literally hundreds of thousands of people who've seen those ads. And we've had interactions from more than 10,000 people. 10,000 people who either commented on the post or who clicked a link to go to the Enga Bible website. And that's another thing that we're doing that's a bit innovative. So anybody with an internet connection can go to engabible.org and they can download all of the materials that we have available. One of the great advantages of modern technology is that we can make the scriptures available in so many different ways. Uh, one of the ways we've done that is through the Enga Bible app. So anybody that has a smartphone, or as they call it here, a touchscreen phone, can access the Enga Bible for free. So it's exciting that we're able to distribute the Enga New Testament to people that will never meet face to face. They can just download it and it's on their phone and they can listen to it and they don't even have to pay anything for it. And so there are a variety of ways that we're engaging with people and helping them not only to read the scriptures in the Anga language, but to learn how to read the Anga language and to document the Anga language, which especially people in the capital city of Port Moresby really appreciate because some of their fears are that their children are growing up in the city and they're not learning the language. And so this gives us a way to support them and help keep their language alive for their children as well.